So here we are, my next project for the Frankie coach. You're probably wondering what the heck is on this table. Well, there's some uh, storage options on the back of the van that you can do for about $1,500. But what I'm about to do today is put together a storage system that only cost me, only cost me about 150 bucks for the case. And then we also have some storage bags <clears throat> that I'll be putting in that case. I want to put in my water bag that's in the blue and then my uh, sewage bag that's in the black. I got those off of Amazon and they're great storage devices. This particular uh, project will be using various hardware to install this case. So let's take a look and see what we got for a case. I wanted to give proper credit to an individual that I follow on Facebook in regards to this idea of putting a plastic container on the back of the coach. The Facebook post was from Michael Frawley in which he had posted pictures showing how he mounted the Pelican case on his ladder on the rear of his coach. I took that idea and made some adjustments to fit my needs. I've posted a picture of this Facebook post so that you could also research it if you'd like. This is the case that I purchased from Amazon. It is a Pelican case called the Vault. I'll put some more detailed information on the YouTube on what type of uh, part number this case is. It's hinged on one side. It is plastic. It has uh, push button release for the clasps. You open the case, it already comes with foam, which I will not be using with this case. One of the things that I want to verify is will my bags fit in this case? Because if they don't, I'm sending the case back. So this is my bag that contains all my water connections. And this is my sewer bag. And now we will close the lid. And lo and behold, it holds the items. So then we're going to go to stage two of this project. Where these bags are positioned I'm going to be putting velcro straps drill holes in the bag uh, in the uh, case and the velcro straps will hold the bags in place I'll be using uh, these screws right here they are 5 16 stainless steel bolts and uh, I will fasten them uh, the straps to them and I'll show you how that comes out Okay, I measured From the case bottom to where I'm going to drill the hole nine inches And that's the center line of the bag. So this will be the first hole I drill The other hole is going to be from the other end of the case nine inches and I'll drill a hole there so now I've got through holes here and there. I will now attach the uh, Velcro strips. I measured out uh, the Velcro straps to 48 inches or four foot. And I'll put a center hole in the center and then fasten it to the uh, Pelican case. All right, I put the straps through the uh, plastic container. I got the bolt in there. 
Now I'll be using these uh, wrenches to tighten this nut with the metal washer. And these are nylon nuts, so they will hold secure. And after doing this, I'll do the next one on top. Well, we had to break down some boxes for the garbage, so Arrow's doing his great job of getting everything shredded so it fits in the uh, garbage can. Good job, boy. Don't leave anything left. No big chunks. He's tired now. Look at him. Okay, so now that I got the straps installed, I'm going to put my bags in there just to verify fit. That's cool. That's been Velcroed into position. That's been velcroed in position. And it locks. So that is complete. Uh -oh. All right, you're probably wondering what's in the blue bag. So now that I've got the bags fit in there, let's open it up and take a look so you can understand. I have a filter, water hose that comes with the coach. I got these quick disconnect couplings, so that makes it easier for me to hook up the hose and unplug the hose from the coach. I have water hose that's stiff, and then I have this water reel that has a collapsible hose uh, that I can also use for the water. So that's in my blue bag. In my black bag, I have the uh, sanitary gloves. The screen went off. It's okay. I have the uh, fittings for the uh, sewer hose. I know the coach has a spot for the hose to be put in, which I could only fit a five foot hose. So I added a 10 foot extension in here and I just coupled that together. So that's what's in my black hose and I also have a black trash can just in case there's a problem. Because you never know, there's always a problem when you're camping. So here is the case on the back side. I measured where the poles were the ladder strung, or whatever you want to call them, strings that you climb upon, they're 12 inches from center to center. So 12 inches. I could go up this high to put a set of clamps. However, the ladder bends at an angle. So I figure if I got good support here on this bottom side, there ain't much weight on this box that would cause a problem for this thing to fall off. If it does have a problem in the future, I will put strap or a uh, Pipe clamp over here. All right, so we got the box on the back. This is what it looks like. You still can see the license plate. I still have to tighten it. I needed my wife to help me put it on. But that's where the bolts are. I got to tighten them down. And then I'll show you what it looks like with the items in there strapped in. Here's the back side of the uh, case and the pipe clamps or the U-bolts. This is to tighten it up. I didn't want to go to the ladder up here because it did sway out. Others have mounted something special, but I figure I got enough clamping pressure and weight to support in those two areas. 
These are the two bags in the back. My wife's holding the camera. These are the two bags in the back. There we go. Sealed in. And it also has ports for locks. You can put a lock in here. Yay!